Hey guys, happy Friday. I am going to read you a fiction book today because earlier this week we read um, the Big Words book, which is a nonfiction book because it taught you about words. This book is called This Moose Belongs to Me by Oliver Jeffers. That's the artist, the art illustrator and the author. All right. This moose belongs to me. <clears throat> Wilfred owned a moose. He hadn't always owned a moose. The moose came to him a while ago and he just knew, he knew that it was meant to be his. He thought he would call him Marcel. Is that what you would name a moose if you had a moose? He began following Marcel, explaining the rules of how to be a good pet. <clears throat> Much of the time, it seemed as though the moose wasn't listening, but Wilfred knew he was mostly because he followed rule four very well, not making too much noise while Wilfred plays his record collection. Sometimes the moose wasn't a very good pet. He generally ignored rule number seven, going whichever way Wilfred wants to go. The moose had a very good sense of direction and Wilfred did not. And because the moose was particularly poor on rule seven, maintaining a certain proximity to home, Wilfred quickly learned some, some, to bring some string along on their outing so he could find his way back again. Sometimes the moose was an excellent pet. He had no trouble with rule 11, finding shelter from the rain. Or rule 16, knocking down things that are, of, <clears throat> that are out of Wilfred's reach. One day, as Wilfred discussed their plans for the coming year on a particularly long walk, he made a terrible discovery. Someone else thought she owned the moose. And this old lady says, Rodrigo, you're back. Wilfred was dumbstruck. The moose was Marcel, not Rodrigo. The old lady was mistaken and Wilfred thought it was only proper that he correct her. This moose belongs to me, he explained. And to prove it, he called Marcel, heel. But the moose did not respond. He seemed more interested in the old lady. Good Rodrigo. Fine, embarrassed and enraged, Wilfred walked, rushed off for home. But in his haste and miles from anywhere, he tripped over his string and got tangled up. And there he lay. Wilfred was beginning to get a little bit worried. It was getting late and the monsters would be out soon. He had just ruled out the last of his options. He had plans in his head of how he was going to get out of the string. When along came the moose. And performed rule number 73 brilliantly. Rescuing your owner from a perilous situation. That means a dangerous situation. All was forgiven, and perhaps, Wilfred admitted, he'd never really owned the moose anyway. With that in mind, he and the moose reached a compromise. The moose would agree to all of Wilfred's rules whenever it suited him, Dominic, you're back, and you brought me an apple. So look, this moose goes to three different people. All right, that was our fiction book of the week. I hope you liked it. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you on Tuesday because we don't have any school on Monday, so we'll see you Tuesday. Bye, guys.